Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're here to show you the number 10 cultivator. This has the regular shanks on it. You can also get it with a heavy duty. This is a three in one tool. It's got two options on it. This is the furrowing attachment where you remove your front tines. This normally has six tines instead of four. We've put the furrowing attachment on the front. We've just finished with the 60 inch batter, so we have some really nice heels. We're going to use the furring attachment first to put a furrow in to plant our crop. And then we're going to uh, culti pretend we have a crop and cultivate it. Uh, these are the batters attachment that goes on this uh, cultivator and it's going to do the same thing as a GB48 or a GB60. We're just not going to bolt them on since we already have some nice heels as you can see. This whole assembly goes from underneath, bolts on to right there. So you can do your furrowing, your cultivating, and your bedding with this attachment. <laughs> So that's making a nice trench right in the middle of the bed, which is going to be perfect for sowing your crop. And then you just would sow your crop and fold it right back in. Our bed was really high and wasn't very wide, so we've set the furrowing attachment just a little bit lower to leave us a really nice trench there. So this three-in-one tool, being able to cultivate, use a furring attachment, and make your beds to start with, just like you see, makes it a really versatile tool. Okay, we're back with the cultivator. This is a number 10. Uh, we've put all the shanks back on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend what we've done is we've plowed the garden, we've tilled it, we've made our beds with the better, which also is available for this to make your beds. And now we're gonna pretend we have a crop growing, whether it was corn or whatever it was, up to about the height from the bottom of here to here, you can keep your crop cultivated. You've got two choices. You can either get out in the mornings and hoe your garden to get rid of the weeds and all until it grows up high enough to kind of shade the sides and keep the weeds from being able to grow, or you can use a cultivator. So this is going to make it a lot easier on you. You're going to be able to cultivate your garden, clear out all the weeds on the side, just straddle your crop. When it gets any taller than this, you should have enough shade to keep your plants and all your weeds from growing as good. So he would just be straddling the row right down the middle of the furrow, corn, whatever it might be, up to about two, two and a half feet tall, and then you would be pulling up all the weeds and everything from the sides without having to break out the old-fashioned hoe. So we're cultivating our imaginary crop. All this hard area where the tires have been compacted, it's getting brought up. That's where your weeds are going to grow. So you're loosening up all the ground to get your full aeration around your plants and roots, but you're leaving your plant growing and, and everything with the cultivator without having to disturb the plant. And we're going to show you, we're getting ready to do the number 11 cultivator. And one of the advantages of the 11, this works fine, one of the advantages of the 11 is you're able to space this number 10 anywhere you want by moving these bolts to move your tines. The number 11, you're simply going to loosen the bolt and be able to slide it. And we'll show you that right now as soon as we get the number 11 hooked up. 